Hi everyone, this is Anita from Amiguruku. Today we are gonna make a bear from my pattern picnic bears. Uh, you can use the bear to make a back charm or a keychain. This is the tools and materials that I use, but feel free, but feel free if you want to adjust them according to the material that you have at home. You can get the materials from local yarn, local craft store uh, or online store. Uh, I get them with category jewelry findings to get the spring gate with fine material. And here is the ba basic technique that we, we use on this pattern. So first of all, let's make a magic ring. If you're completely new on Amigurumis, please watch my previous video on how to make a Totoro because I explain details on that video. So we make uh, six of single crochets in this mage rings. Pull the tile tightly to close the circle with a slip stitch. We just finished round one. For round two, we will make six increase. So we will have 12 stitches in total. I will add a mark, stitch marker, just a piece of yarn, and start round three. Single crochet, increase, and repeat the repeat for six times. So we will have eighteen stitches in total. Round 3 is finished and we will make round 4 Single crochet, 2 Increase and repeat for 6 times We will have 24 stitches in total Round 5, single crochet, 3, increase, repeat for 6 times, we will have 30 stitches in total. For round 6 until round 11, we will make a single crochet 30 for 6 rounds. Just repeat the pattern. We are done making round 11 and now we are gonna make the 12. Single crochet 4, increase and repeat for 6 times. On 
the next round we will work on single crochet 36 just crochet along until the round is finished we will have 36 stitches in total make sure you have the right stitches all right in this round we will start to decrease the head so it will be smaller single crochet 2 decrease and repeat for 9 times and we will have 27 stitches in total for round 15 single crochet decrease and repeat for 9 times and we will have 18 stitches in total and round 16 decrease 9 times until you get 9 stitches we are now ready to fill the head with folly fever I use the scissors to insert the filling you can use any tools like pen I will insert it until it firms and steady Decrease 4 and single crochet and we will have 5 stitches at the end yeah, You may find this part is quite hard to do but just follow the pattern slowly until it is done take all the five loops at the last stitches one two three Insert the needle to the center of the loops and push it to another side of the head. Make a knot to show the secured and we can cut the tail. Alright, the head 
gestern. We will make the legs. So the method is the same as we make the head. We will start from magic ring, but only four single crochets in it. And round two, single crochet, increase and repeat for twice. And you will get six stitches. Two of the legs, and we will join them by uh, crochet them together. I will make chain 3 first and I will cut and hide the tails first to make it simpler Start from the stitches, the first stitch of the other leg. Can you see that? The first. Just ignore the tails. Work as usual following the pattern. So, single crochet, six. On the on this leg and single crochet three on the chain, single crochet six on the other leg. It is hard to insert the hook inside. Chain. Be patient and continue the stitches. So I will show you where the stitches should be inserted. Chain, chain, the third chain. You have to insert the hook into these three. single crochet and two three single crochet on the chains okay continue the pattern we will make single crochet six on this leg Finish this round, 
we will add a stitch marker here just continue this pattern round 7 increase 3, single crochet 6 increase 3, single crochet 6 until we have 24 so here is the body is finished and stuff the body with poly fiber as we did to the head and ready to sew it to the head prepare your needles sew the head part alternately with the body part So the hat first, take the yarn, push to the body, through the body loops. Pull it out and insert to the head again. using this joining technique in order to make it look seamless actually there's a few ways to join the head and body but this is my best way to be patient and consistent because this is the hard us the hardest part on making I mean, can join the parts to the other to the other arms and ears I already made them so we can just attach them to the body for the ears I will sew the ears first to close the opening
the ears on the round four until round seven of the head. Actually, you can adjust them where to put the ears, but this is my best preference. But before that, we will make an invisible finishing first. So, just simply take the needle and insert to the second stitch. So, this is the last stitch, and we will insert the next stages on from the last and insert the yarn back into the last one Sound. Before I cut the tail, I make dabs on the head to place the eyes using the remaining yarns. So the eye position is round 9 and until 10th round of the head. Before I insert the eyes, I will make a hole with scissors first, just like this, because I don't use the rubber of the eyes. Of the eyes. Now I will make the nose with the black yarn.
small pie black yarn to make the nose Cute. And we'll now add glue to stick the eyes permanently. Just put a little piece of it to the eye stem. Just a little piece. Be careful on this. It's time to make the strap for the back jump. Just start with chain 21 and you can adjust the length as you desire. Turn and make single crochet 20. Okay, you can cut and finish the tails with just a little piece of glue. Use your pliers, press the clasp, and we are ready to insert the clasp into the jump ring. Connect the pairs with the strap. Fold it into a ribbon shape and screw it.
add a blue behind the ribbon and stick to the pair. Yay! And our bag job is finished!